get to what we've been watching, and then we'll go from there. And we're going to start with Zach. Okay, so uh, this was a movie that we had contemplated uh, seeing together as a group. I, I honestly don't know if you guys watched it or not, but I did go see Missing, uh, the mm. new uh, thriller. Um, it's not directed by Anesh Shigari, but he is a producer on it. Um, he's the guy that did Searching. Um, and uh, it is directed by Nicholas Johnson and Will Merrick. And I think they did the movie where it was uh, the girl on the in the uh, wheelchair on Hulu. I can't remember that. That was a good one. Uh, they make good movies. Uh, anyway, this one, like Searching, is uh, entirely on a screen. Is that and, one called Run? Yeah, Run. They're not great at movie titles. That That is the one area that they could improve on. Uh, they made, I think, numerous appearances on our most boring titles list. Mm, uh, yeah. But fortunately, they're creative in other ways. So uh, Missing tells the story of June, and she's played by Storm Reed, and she's an angsty Gen Z teenager beginning of the movie, and she's on her screen all the time, and her mom and her mom's boyfriend are taking a trip to Columbia, and she gets all the house all to herself, and so she throws a big party, and, and then sadly what happens is mom and boyfriend never come back. She's there at the airport trying to do FaceTime with her mom. She's not there. FaceTime with my mom, like the song says. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, it leads to... 30 minutes are essential. Exactly. So, you know, the movie is called Missing. And the first real hour of this movie is June trying to communicate with the Colombian authorities about trying to locate her missing mom. And, you know, if you're anyone over the age of 35, like me or Terry or Chad Henney, you will be reminded of uh, the great Missing from 1982, the Costa Gavras movie, also about a family split apart, um, a missing family member in, uh, I don't know if it was Colombia, I think it was a fictionalized South American country, but that's a cool movie with Sissy Spacek and, and Jack Lemmon. And so in a way, I sort of thought, I don't know if this was intentional homage to it, but kind of did some similar things. Um, and, uh, you know, June finds out some crazy information about her mom, and there's some real interesting backstory. Maybe the boyfriend's a culprit behind it. Uh, I've enjoyed this movie. I mean, it was fun. It, uh, it went in some real unexpected directions, kind of like searching. It has a real heart <laughs> at the center of it. I think Storm Reed is a really talented uh, young actor. Nia Long plays her mom, Grace, and she's great in it, too. The movie does get kind of batshit crazy in the last 20, 25 minutes, and I didn't love it. Um, I wish the movie had just kind of stuck to the whole, she has to communicate with, uh, the South American authorities and, but, uh, I won't say anything about why it goes off the rails, but uh, overall, I like it. She does have, I do have to mention that she has a person in Colombia that she contacts with that helps her out. Can anyone guess his name? I, th I think we know his name. It's H Javi. Javi. Of course it is. <laughs> anyway, three, three stars. I enjoyed this movie. Not as much as Megan, but hey, listen, when you get two solid theatrical movies in January, it's some sort of miracle. And uh, this one's fun. I, I definitely enjoy it. Thumbs up. Todd, did you see this? No, I did not. I didn't either. I was I was planning on on uh, reporting on something new that I watched, but uh, I got a little under the weather under the weather this week. So I didn't get to the theater last night like I normally do. It's good that this one that, that this one uh, turned out good though. I like that. It's very good, and actually, I think it would make a great Netflix or Hulu watch. Per perfect for small screens too. 